Hi guys and welcome to another WordPress video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well today we're going to be demonstrating a plugin we demonstrated before. It's absolutely awesome uh, for backing up your site, migrating sites and it's absolutely free too. It's called WP Vivid and I'll show you everything about it in this little video here. So what we've got here, I've got a site online here. It's in a subdomain of my main domain here, WP Vivid. Uh, I've got a fresh install of WordPress just on my local host here, which is on my local computer, or this could be on another server. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to migrate the site from here to my local host here. Now this one, the online version, I've already got my WP Vivid installed in here. What I'm going to do is I'll do a backup. Then on this one, I'll show you how to install it, etc. So I'm in my dashboard. I've gone down to WP Vivid on the live site here, the one that I want to migrate. I've actually already got a backup here. The last one was June 28th, 2019. We're 2020 February now, so let's do another one. Uh, I want all of it. I want database and files. You can just do the, the, the files or you can just do the database. You can, uh, at the moment, it's set to save the backup to local which means it'll save it on the local server wherever your site is on your server on your online server and the one that's on my local machine here will obviously save it to the online machine there is also an option to back up to remote storage we'll be covering that in future videos so I'm going to get the whole database and files and save back up to local and I'm going to click the Backup Now button. And there we have it. If we look down here now, we've got our new backup, February 7th, 2020. That took about probably less than a minute, but this is a very small site. The only issues I've run into this plugin is with large sites over a gigabyte in size, the server's going to time out and that's not a problem with the plugin that that's the way the server is set by the hosting provider i.e godaddy ipage bluehost whoever your hosting provider is but it's just absolutely awesome okay so we've got a backup of our current state of the site now i'm going to download it little download button right here click on it and then you need to click on the little download link that appears and it'll download it to your desktop. I'm using Google Chrome, so it'll download right here. If you're using Firefox or Edge or something, it's gonna download it to your default download installation, which is usually in my documents and downloads, but make sure you know where yours is. That's it. Like I say, it's a very small, small site, this. So there's our download. Let's go to our new site here. Here it is. Like I say, it's just a plain install of WordPress. Nothing in it at all at the moment. Now I need to install the WP Vivid plugin, so I'm going to go down to plugins on the dashboard here. And I want to add new. And I'm simply going to type in the search box WP Vivid. And there it is, right there. Fantastic. Okay, now it's installed. I'm going to activate it. very quick process and here we are and as you can see we've got the same sort of dashboard as we had on our online site here but of course we've got no backups so i need to un upload the backup that we just made from our last site which is down there so i'm going to go over and hit the upload tab and simply drag this to it and you can just drag yours from wherever the folder is and then just hit the upload button when you're ready you can see it incrementing on the right hand side over here as it's uploading it. And it says the upload is complete. Let's say OK. And as you can see, we've now got a backup here. So now let's turn this into this. So to do that, there's the backup we just uploaded. I want to go over here to restore. 
and just left click on where it says restore. And it's got this little error, but I found that's not a problem. I'm going to go ahead anyway. The allow packet size is a bit too small. You can change that in your scripts if you need to, but it doesn't seem to stop it at all. So let's go ahead and hit restore. Are you sure? Yep. Yeah. Okay, it says completed successfully. That probably took about a minute. And uh, I'm not going to reload the site just yet. Like I say, this is a fairly small site, but it really is pretty quick. So now that we've installed that, let's visit our site. Remember, it did look like this. Now let's see what it looks like. There we are. So we've gone to this, to this in a couple of minutes. Just a regular site. Let's make sure these pages are going to work. Let's try this one. Fantastic. Really is as simple as that. And I use it on all my customers sites, I have to say, and use it for backups and movements. It's a great idea to just back up your site once a month, minimally. Um, if it's an important site and this plugin will let you do that for free and it doesn't really get any better than that it's asking me to sign in there so I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful like I say free plugin use it once again this has been Jamie from system 22 and webdesign and tech tips .com. thanks for watching have a great day